Tales of the Jedi, The Golden Age of the Sith Conquest and Unification The complete history of the Old Republic would fill a thousand libraries. But some events, some sacrifices have become legend, passed from generation to generation. The epic of the Great Hyperspace War, how the bold explorations of young Gav and Jorai Daragon brought two galactic empires crashing together, how Odin Ur became a powerful Jedi and eventually a master, and how the seven worlds of the Koros system were finally united by the wise and skilled Empress Teta. Five millennia before the birth of Luke Skywalker and the fall of Palpatine's empire. A thousand years before Exar Kun and Ulic Keldrama joined forces in a sweeping conflagration known as the Sith War. The story begins. History has forgotten the name of the planet, but not the name of the young Jedi, Odin Ur. He has completed his Jedi training, but he continues to be fascinated by lore and history especially the history of the Sith. Master Uru, as always, I have learned many new things from studying the old records. Let me tell you some of the tales. Odin Ur, you would be content to spend your entire life in the company of scrolls and documents. But a Jedi Knight has other responsibilities, other duties. The ancient struggle of light side and dark side, the first great schism of the Jedi Knights, the Dark Jedi, finally defeated after a century of bloodshed, took their battered ships into exile, crossing the galaxy into the unknown. There, the vanquished Dark Jedi found a primitive civilization, a new people to dominate, the Sith. The Dark Jedi were treated as gods. With unlimited resources and willing slaves, the Jedi exiles forged the Sith civilization into a new empire, bringing about a golden age of evil. In my Jedi Praxium you have learned the necessity of action as well as words. The time has come for you to act as a Jedi. You must quench the fires of war. In the Koros system, the Empress Teta has united six of her seven worlds, but the struggle goes badly on the last battlefront. I believe you, Odin Ur, can save lives and bring peace by your very presence. I will go, if I must, but I much prefer to read history rather than make it. Sinagar in the Koro system. Arba the Hut's service dock. Spaceships fixed cheaply, quickly, and quietly. All repairs guaranteed, but only for a limited time. Hawk and Timar Daragon. High-risk supply runners prepare to depart on a mission of mercy and profit. Thanks for getting the Shadow Runner repaired so quickly, Arba. Timing is critical to bring relief supplies to those besieged soldiers on Carrick. By taking your payment as a percentage of our profits, you've given us the chance we need. Ooh, keep your voice down. Can't let any of these scum hear that a hut extended credit. Hey, Mom and Dad. Uh, Jory and I can help you out. We'll follow in Starbreaker 12. Come on, Gav. They'll never let us go along. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. I'm getting tired of hearing the same old excuses. Those gorillas have held the Citadel under siege for a month now. Even Empress Teta's crack troops can't break the blockade. Too dangerous, kids. We've got to run in fast and low, then get out before we get our bellies scorched. <laughs> I'm keeping the Starbreaker 12 here as collateral until you come back. Not as nice as the Shadow Runner, but it'll do. Back in a few days, just traveling in system to Kurik. We're loaded to the wall place with supplies. We'll drop them off and head back. Bye. They get all the fun. I'm as good a pilot as they are. No, you're not, Gav, but I am. Synagogue. Greetings, Odin Ur. I am Mehmet Nadil, Empress Teta's Jedi advisor. May the Force be with you, Jedi. I am more of a scholar than a warrior, Mehmet Nadal. This assignment is quite a burden for me. Our warriors have been unsuccessful so far. Perhaps a scholar will hold the key we need. The Empress Teta has converted her ceremonial throne room to a military command center. 
Six of the seven worlds in the Koros system have been united in mutual commerce and aid. But the pirates of Carrick have so far rebuffed all attempts, and have taken in their vengeance on all ships that come within striking distance. The rebels on Carrick still hold our advance contingent under siege. After our last rescue raid, they have slaughtered fifty of the hostages. Empress Teta, our new Jedi is here, Odin Ur. The trade alliance benefits all worlds in this system, but these rebels prefer to live in squalor without laws. I see no alternative but another full-fledged military assault. We will win, but I fear it will be a bloodbath. Excuse me, Empress. In my studies I have learned a technique that may grant us victory, but with far fewer casualties. It is called Jedi Battle Meditation. Good. You'll show me on the way. Our forces depart immediately. Check. Power up. Squad leaders report. Yo, Zeta Group, check your blaster phasing. Ah, I expected to have more time to consider the situation. A Jedi must act when he is called upon. Now, teach me this battle meditation. Prepare your lightsaber for battle. A Jedi must always be ready. I have never been in battle before, but as my master Uru says, new things must not frighten a Jedi. The concept of ba Jedi battle meditation is simple, Mehmet Medill. Every fighter brings his own fears, his own hopes with him into combat. With sufficient concentration, a Jedi such as you or I can strengthen the hopes of our allies and heighten the fears of our enemies. This, what the armies know in their hearts, must become true, because they believe it so strongly. Behind hastily erected siege walls, the Kurok pirates keep Empress Teta's soldiers trapped in a citadel, destined to become a tomb. But even they can feel the power of Odin Ur's battle meditation. Here they come again! Looks like a big fleet this time, we don't have a chance! I've got a bad feeling about this. Your cause has failed. Your violence is overthrown. You have lost. Earn for your lives! We can't fight this! We're saved! You will be rescued. Your waiting is at an end. Just hold on a little longer. We're coming for you. It's a miracle! They'll break the blockade! Sometimes, though, breaking an enemy's spirit merely unleashes the vast reserves of desperation. Empress Teta has won. The Seven Worlds will be unified. Peace will once again come to the Koros system. We've got no chance. But we can take some of them with us to our graves. Never surrender, I say. Fire on the weakest targets. Kill as many as you can. Looks like quite a battle going on down there, Timar. I hope we're not too late. Empress Teta forces. This is Shadow Runner on command, coded frequency. We're making an emergency run to drop those urgent supplies. Watch your heads. Are you up for a challenge? This is going to be tough. Fuck, I'm having enough trouble just holding on. I'm flying low and fast. They're too busy defending themselves from the fleet. We'll be in and out before they can blink their eyes. Bank and roll, Hawk. Shields damaged. Can't maneuver well with all that heavy cargo aboard. We're caught in a crossfire. Take emergency evasive. Too late! Target weapons and placements only. They've already lost. No need to turn it into a slaughter. We've won. But it was terrible. No, Odin Ur. This could have been a bloodbath, but your battle meditation saved many lives here. Never forget that. Tell it to those poor souls in that supply ship. I never want to see war again. Synagogue. Gaff, Jory, I just received word. Mom and Dad are coming home already? Good. Almost got the old Starbreaker fixed. Hey, Droid, hand me that hydro spanner. But Arba's news is not what Gav and Joy Daragon expect. I know your other ship was held in collateral, but I give it back to you. Your parents have paid for it in blood. Joy, can you and I can take the Starbreaker 12 and make our parents proud? Yes, Gav, nothing can stop us now. We've got the whole galaxy to explore.